Hi, right, what's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving, right? Hurt people hurt people. <clears throat> bullshit. Yes, yeah, bullshit. To me, at least. Let me tell you what. When people say hurt people hurt people, it reminds me of uh, when you're watching a game and they always say, you know, the penalty is never on the person who started it. It's always on the person who finished it. So when people say hurt people hurt people, I always look at it like, okay, so if this hurt person hurt someone, we have some unspoken level of forgiveness for them because they're a hurt person hurting another person. But the flip side of that is, if the person that they hurt decide, well, since now I'm a hurt person, I'm a hurt they ass. Then it's a zero tolerance policy where you should know better and, um, you know, bring religion into the mix and God and morals and ethics and, you know, why didn't you forgive the hurt person that hurt you type stuff? I think, and that's why I think it's bullshit. Now I can take this on a, on a plethora of different levels. The first one is on a religious level. Okay, how come? So when you're thinking of God and the devil, it's hurt people hurting people, right? But the, the crazy part about it is. You might read the Bible to a certain point, and then you get to Revelations, you realize it's going to be a fight. You know, to say that, oh, God forgave the de God created the devil, he loves all of his creations, and then he kicked the, the creation that he loved out of heaven into hell, and then he let the creation that he kicked out of heaven and sent to hell be completely uh, off the chain and grow and be more powerful powerful until they got to a point where they felt like they could kick God's ass and get in the fight with him. And it's at this point where, okay, well, could the devil be considered a hurt person that hurts people? No, he's just a villain, right? But even at the same time, you look at God like, you know, you know, God is a benevolent creature who loves and creates everything, but never, never said I'm not. Excuse me. Never once said I'm not gonna kick his ass. That's not what happened. God didn't say I'm not gonna kick his ass. He's like, you know, <clears throat> at, at the end of his revelation, I'm gonna beat his ass. Mm -hmm. That wasn't gonna happen. And nobody questions that and say, well, he was. That was a hurt angel, you know, hurt people, hurt people, you know. You should forgive and forget. You should love and let it go. People don't say that. <clears throat> God, excuse me. I don't know what the hell happened, but whatever. So, uh, racism. You know, white people will hurt people who hurt people, right? You know, slavery, Jim Crow, genocide, trail of tears, uh, uh, Japanese internment camps, uh, uh, lynchings and bombings and Nagasaki, you know, and all these wars. But then other people decide, you know, to start uh, hurting back. Oh, whoa, oh, that is so uncivilized. That is wrong. You know, you don't hurt me. You don't, you don't go out there and hurt other people. That you should, you, there are better ways to handle that. That is savagery. That is brutal. The way the laws are written with, with, with men and women pertaining to abuse and rape. A man can rape a woman and to get, she can kill him or try to kill him in the process or before he actually attempts to do it. And there's a possibility they could tell her, well, he didn't really rape you. He tried to, but that's not really a crime, attempted rape. 
because we don't trust your story because a lot of girls say that or did he penetrate if he didn't penetrate he didn't really rape you he might have just assaulted you a little bit well you on the other hand shot him in the balls boom you got to go to jail for aggravated assault because we can't we did this is not on tape we didn't actually he didn't tape this attempted rape and he he's a hurt person but you actually hurt that person so you know when you when you when you when you when you're the bully you got forgiveness when you're the person not who's standing up for yourself all of a sudden there's zero tolerance that's personally why I feel like hurt people hurt people is bullshit because you can spread the hurt because you can hurt me and I can't hurt you but I can in turn hurt somebody else and they can't hurt me and that person can hurt somebody else and they can't hurt them so really you just spread and hurt around that, that that's the ultimate you know uh, mantra of hurt people hurt people you, you can hurt other people but you can't hurt the person that hurt you because if you hurt the person that hurt you a little bit too much like right you know so I'm gonna leave it at that keep this a little bit shorter peace